progress report says we are at stage 8, paragraph page 675. 675. Mm -hmm. And our last headword was accustomed new word type of lesson. Okay. Yes. So right. let's start with our revision. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, I'm ready. Go. What are the two basic meanings of the word sensitive? What are the two basic meanings of the word sensitive? The two basic the two meanings of the word sensitive the words, are able are to notice able small changes, small changes, or easily or hurt easily or offended. Regan, what do we mean by a sensitive thermometer? What do we mean by a sensitive thermometer? By a sensitive by a thermometer, sensitive we mean a thermometer that can measure very small very changes in temperature. In temperature. Regan, are your eyes sensitive to bright light? Are your eyes sensitive to bright light? Yes or no? Yes. My, yes. Eyes, My eyes are sensitive are to sensitive bright, bright light. light. Is it important for teachers to be sensitive to their pupils' feelings? Is it important for teachers to be sensitive to their pupils' feelings? Yes, yes. it's important, it's for, important teachers for teachers to be sensitive, to, be sensitive to their pupils' feelings. Pupils feelings. Wait, what do we mean if we say that somebody is very sensitive to criticism? What do we mean if we say that somebody is very sensitive to criticism? If we say if we that say somebody that is very somebody sensitive, is very sensitive to, criticism, to criticism, we mean that we they mean are that easily hurt. Or, or offended, offended by criticism. criticism. Very good. When we're speaking about a person's behavior, what's the opposite of the word stupid? When we're speaking about a person's behavior, what's the opposite of the word stupid? When we're speaking uh, when we about speaking a person's about behavior, a person's the behavior, opposite of the word stupid is, is sensible. Stupid. Are you sensible with money? Are you sensible with money? Yes or no? Yes, I'm, I'm sensible. sensible with money. Very good. Is it sensible to run across the road without looking? Is it sensible to run across the road without looking? No. No, it, it isn't, isn't sensible to, to run across the road without, without looking. Why not? Why not? Because, because we, could be, we could be hit by, by a, a car. Very good. Is there a big shopping center in your town? Is there a big shopping center in your town? Yes or no? Uh, no. No, there isn't a big shopping center in this town. Very good. Okay. Here we go. What am I doing? Mm -hmm. What am I doing? You're balancing you your, pen your pen on, on your, your finger. finger. Oh, I did it. Very good. If you add up figures in an accounts book and find they don't balance, what must you do? If you add up figures in an accounts book and find they don't balance, what must you do? If you if add you up figures figure, in an accounts book an account and big, find they don't balance, they don't balance. you must if add them up add again. Them, you must add, add them, them up again. again. Very good. If we had 100 pounds between us and I took 75 pounds and gave the balance to you, how much would you get? If we had 100 pounds between us and I took 75 pounds and gave the balance to you, how much would you get? If we had uh, if we 100, had 100 pounds, pounds between us between and us, you took you, 75, um, pounds you, you 75 pounds and gave and the balance to me, me, I'd get 25, I'd get 25 pounds. pounds. Very good. What is basically the meaning of the verb to bind? What is basically the meaning of the verb to bind? Basically, the That's meaning the, of the, uh, verb meaning, the verb to bind verb to bind is to tie. To tie. Right. What are the three forms of bind? What are the three forms of bind? The three forms the three of bind forms are bind, bind, bound, are bound, 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 bound. Very good. What does the idiom hit the nail right on the head mean? What does the idiom hit the nail right on the head mean? The idiom, the idiom hit, the nail, hit the nail right on the right head on means the head say means something that identifies a problem or situation or exactly. Or, or say something say that is exactly, exactly correct. Very good. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. He hit the nail hit right the on nail the head. Right on the and head. then we could yeah. see the problem see perfectly. Problem Very good. Okay. When we use a noun for the first time in a conversation, do we use the article a or the? When we use a noun for the first time in a conversation, do we use the article a or the? When we use a noun for the first time in a conversation, we use the article a. 
Give me an example. Give me an example, please. Hi, Jessica. I've just bought a new computer and a printer, too. If we then refer to the same thing or person again, do we normally use a or the? If we then refer to the same thing or person again, do we normally use a or the? If we then refer to the same thing or person again, we normally use the. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. Hi, Jessica. I've just bought a new computer and a printer, too. The computer is really good, but I'm not sure about the printer. I. It was very cheap. It was very cheap. Very good. In which situations do we use the definite article the when we use a noun for the first time? In which situations do we use the definite article the when we use a noun for the first time? We use the definite yeah, article the, the when we use a noun use for the first time. For the only time. when the speaker and the, and the listener and the both know post, who or what is being talked about. Who or what? Is, is being, being talked, talked about. about. Very good. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. The book, which yes. is on the table, yes. is, yours. is yours. Very good. Do we use the indefinite article when we talk about people's jobs? Do we use the indefinite articles when we talk about people's jobs? Yes or no? Yes. We, use we use the indefinite uh, article. We use the indefinite article when we talk when we about talk people's about jobs. People's jobs. Very good. Would you like to be an astronaut? Would you like to be an astronaut? Yes or no? Yeah, I wouldn't. I know. I wouldn't like an astronaut. an astronaut. Do you know anyone who works as a waiter? Do you know? Do you know anyone who works as a waiter? Yes or no? I don't know anyone who, who works, works as, as a, a waiter. waiter. Very good. Okay. Do you note down all the new English words you hear? Do you note down all the new English words you hear? Yes or no? No, I don't know down all, all the, the new, new English words, words I hear. hear. Very good. Do you take notes in a notebook during the lesson? Do you take notes in a notebook during the lesson? No, no I don't, I take, don't notes take notes in a notebook during the in lesson. A notebook during the lesson. Why not? Why not? Because if because I did, if I, I, did, couldn't I couldn't give my full attention to what was to being what said. Was being to say, uh, what was what being was said. Being said. Very good. One more. Because if I did, because I couldn't I did, give my full attention, my full attention to, what to what was being said. Excellent. Very good. Do you note anything different about this room from last lesson? Do you note anything different about this room from last lesson? Yes or no? Yeah, no, I don't know anything, anything different about that, about room, that room from last, from last lesson. Very good. What color are the banknotes of your country? What color are the banknotes of your country? The banknotes the bank of, of my country are are green, blue, red, etc. Very good. Can women normally sing higher notes than men can? Can women normally sing higher notes than men can? Yes, yes, women, women can normally can sing higher notes sing higher than notes men. Than men yeah. Very good. Does each key on a piano keyboard play a different note? Does each key on a piano keyboard play a different note? Yes, each yes, key each on key a piano keyboard plays keyboard a, different note. a different note. Very good. What's the difference between a note and a letter? What's the difference between a note and a letter? The difference the between a note and a letter is that a note is normally shorter than a letter and less formal. Very good. Why did soldiers wear armor in the old days? Why did soldiers wear armor in the old days? Soldiers wore armor in the old days to protect themselves in battle. Very good. How can we prevent the fire from spreading? How can we prevent the fire from spreading? We can prevent we can a fire prevent from spreading fire from by making by everything around it wet. it wet. Very good. Do you think people are basically the same all over the world? Do you think people are basically the same all over the world? Yes or no? No, I don't, I don't think, think people, people are basically are the same, same all same over the world. Over the world. Very good. Have you ever visited a particular part of the world simply because you were fascinated by the local culture? Have you ever visited a particular part of the world simply because you were fascinated by the local culture? Yes or no? Yeah, I've never visited a particular part of the world simply, simply because, because I was fascinated, I fascinated by the local, local 
Georgia. Very good. Why do you think murderers sometimes return to the scene of their crime? Why do you think murderers sometimes return to the scene of their crime? I think murderers I think sometimes, sometimes return sometimes to the scene of their crime because the they crime. think because that they may have left some uh, evidence this, there. Because they, they think some evidence there. Very good. One more. I think murderers I sometimes murderers return to the scene of their crime because they think because that they, they may have left some so evidence they, there. They I may have left. They may have left some, some evidence, evidence there. there. Very good. Okay. Can a court find someone guilty of a crime if there is no evidence? Can a court find someone guilty of a crime if there is no evidence? No, no, a court a can't court find can't someone find guilty, guilty if, of a crime if there is no evidence. evidence. Very good. Okay. Okay, let me check. We are at a custom. Okay, here we go. What are the letters IE the abbreviation of? What are the letters IE the abbreviation of? The letters IE are the abbreviation of it is, which is Latin. Or that is. When do we use this abbreviation? When do we use this abbreviation? We use this abbreviation mainly in writing. In writing. Very good. What does it mean if we say that we are used to something? What does it mean if we say that we are used to something? If we say that we are used to something, it means that it is not strange or uncomfortable for us anymore. Because anymore. we have experience of it. Very good. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. He's lived on that busy street. Like he has lived. He's lived on that busy street for many years. So he is used to the traffic noise. Is an African person used to hot weather? Is an African person used to hot weather? Yes, an yes. African person. Is used to hot weather. Why? Why? Because it is hot in Africa. And if someone is born and brought up there, hot weather is normal for them. When a family moves to a new town, do you think it's easier for the children to get used to everything that than it is for the parents? When a family moves to a new town, do you think it's easier for the children to get used to everything than it is for the parents? Yes or no? Uh, yes. When a, when family, a family moves to a new town, your new town, I think it's I think easier it for the children to get the used to everything than everything it is for the parents. For the parents. Very good. What do we put? Uh, why do we put the gerund after the expression to be used to? Why do we put the gerund after the expression to be used to? We put the gerund after the expression to be used to. Because the word to is a preposition. Because the word to is a preposition. Very good. Give me an example. Give me an example. At first, it was difficult. At first, it was difficult. But now, I'm used to getting up early. Very good. Are you used to studying with a Kalan method? Are you used to studying with a Kalan method? Yes, uh, I'm used yes. to studying used to with a Kalan method. method. Oh, you're very fast though. Okay. Do you think you could ever get used to living in a country where your language wasn't spoken? Do you think you could get ever used to living in a country where your language wasn't spoken? Yes or no? Uh, no. I don't I think don't I could ever get used to living in a country where my language wasn't spoken. Very good. And that's the end of our revision. Let's have new work. Okay, so let's start with idiom 24. Okay, repeat. Pull yourself together. Pull yourself together. Very good. Okay, listen. Pull yourself together is an idiom that means to gain control of yourself and your emotion after a difficult experience, for example, he fell to pieces when his girlfriend left him, and it took him a few weeks to pull himself together again. Okay, so let's practice. What does the idiom pull yourself together mean? What does the idiom pull yourself together mean? The idiom pull yourself together means gain control of yourself and your emotions 
after a difficult experience. Hard experience. Give me an example. Give me an example, please. Stop crying and pull Oops. yourself together. Stop crying. Stop. Stop crying. And pull yourself together. Pull yourself together. Very good. Next repeat. Benefit. Benefit. Take. Make. Very good. Take. Give up. Give up. Very good. Okay, listen. Benefit is a noun. It is a good or helpful result or effect of something. Benefit. For example, the benefits of regular physical exercise are good health, more energy, etc. Sake is a noun. When we say for the sake of somebody or for the sake of something, it means that you're doing something to help improve or please someone or something. For example, when arguing with someone, I, sud I sometimes suddenly agree with them just for the sake of peace and quiet. Okay. Give up is a phrasal verb. If you give up some if you give something up, it means that you stop having it, you stop doing it, or stop using it. For example, I think it's important for parents who smoke to give up smoking for the sake of their children. Let's practice. What are the benefits of regular physical exercise? What are the benefits of regular physical exercise? The benefits of regular physical exercise are good health, are good more energy, etc. Greg, when arguing with someone, do you ever suddenly agree with them just for the sake of peace and quiet? When arguing with someone, do you ever suddenly agree with them just for the sake of peace and quiet? Yes or no? Uh, no. I, when arguing with someone, we are arguing with someone. I never suddenly agree never with suddenly them agree just with for them. the sake of peace and just quiet. For sake hmm? Of peace for and quiet. One more. Peace and quiet. One more. No. Hmm? When arguing no. with someone, when arguing with someone, I never suddenly agree never with them agree with just them. for the sake. That's for the sake of peace and quiet. Of peace of quiet. Uh, of peace and quiet. Of peace and quiet. Very good. Do you think it's important for parents who smoke to try to give up smoking for the sake of their children? Do you think it's important for parents who smoke to try to give up smoking for the sake of their children? Yes or no? Uh, yes. I think I it's, important it's important for parents, for parents. who smoke. To try to, to give up to smoking, to give up smoking for the sake of their sake children. Of their children. Very good. Okay. Next, repeat. Mixed up. Hmm? Mixed up. Mixed up. Ah, yeah. Mixed up. Very good. Okay. Listen. Mixed up is a phrasal verb. It means to mistakenly think that someone or something is someone or something. For example. If two people have similar names, I sometimes get them mixed up. Let's practice. If two people have very similar names, do you sometimes get them mixed up? If two people have very similar names, do you sometimes get them mixed up? Yes or no? Uh, yes. If two people if two have people very have similar have names, names, I sometimes get them sometimes mixed up. Get them mixed up. Greg, which word am I spelling all mixed up? C I R H A. Which word am I spelling all mixed up? C I R H A. You're spelling the You're word spelling. chair. Word chair. All mixed up. All mixed up. Very good. Okay, so now let's move on to reading. Okay. Very good. Okay, so reading, our reading is at stage seven, paragraph page 592. Last head word mm -hmm. was stream. Okay. Please start at paragraph page 593, head word relative clauses, defining and non-defining clauses. Okay. Relative clauses, defining and non-defining clauses, define. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what are the two types of relative clause? The two types of relative clause are defining clauses and non-defining clauses. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between a defining relative clause and a non-defining relative clause? 
The, dif the difference between a defining relative clause and a non-defining relative clause is that a defining relative clause identifies which person or thing we are talking about, whereas a non-defining relative clause simply gives us extra information about them. Give me an example of a sentence containing a defining relative clause, please. The milk that she bought this morning is in the fridge. Give me an example of a sentence containing a non-defining relative clause, please. My new glasses, which I bought yesterday, are really expensive. How is a non-defining clause separated from the main part of the sentence? A non-defining clause separated from the main part of the sentence by commas. When can we use the relative pronoun that instead of who or which? We can use the relative pronoun that instead of who or which in defining clause. We cannot use that in non-defining clause. Clauses. Mm -hmm. Give give me an example, please. The biscuits that I ate were very tasty. Correct the mistake in this sentence, please. London, that is the capital of England, is a big city. London, which is the capital of England, is a big city. A Very big good. city. Big city. Yeah. Next. Mm -hmm. And what does the idiom for good mean? The idiom for good means forever. Give me an example, please. They are such a perfect couple. I'm sure they'll stay together for good. Wave, wavy, distance, rather than. What am I doing? You are waving your hand. What happens to the branch of a tree when it waves too much in the wind? When the branch, uh, when the branch of waves what? too much in the wind. Homer, when the branch of a tree. Hmm? Ah. When the branch of a tree, when it waves too much in the wind, it breaks and falls to the ground. Very good. On what occasions do we wave our hands? We wave our, we wave our hands when we say goodbye to someone or when we want somebody to notice us from a distance. Is it pleasant to travel by boat when the waves of the sea are very high? No, it isn't pleasant to travel by boat when the waves of the sea are very high. Why not? Because it can be dangerous. And also because we can get seasick. Mm -hmm. uh, do you prefer wavy hair rather than straight hair? No, I don't prefer wavy hair rather than straight hair. Okay, very good. So we stop there for today, but very good. Excellent reading, very good practice, very fast practice for today. Thank you yes, very thank much. You very much.